I guess I would have stayed in the city center. Right? This time I'm out of the city, really, really out of the city center. What is he doing? It seems like he's taking me directly to the stop. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, he said, okay. Thank you. Oh, what is he doing? Thank you. You know what? He just take me. I am sure. I am sure. He don't need to come to this place. What this guy just did? My first impression of Shirley. Let's find out how beautiful it is and how it looks like. Uh, from my impression already from the train station, it seems like a very calm place, very calm. I'm looking for weird to catch the bus that will take me to my hostel. I hope to find someone that can speak English here. Yeah. I hope to find someone. Forget to download the bolt. Bolt will have take me to where I'm going. But so I have to download the bolt so that I can be more, can move more quickly, more faster. Seems like getting public transport in this place can be a little bit more difficult to quickly get public transport. It's not that like uh, cities like Kornas or Vilnius. I think it's more smaller, so the public transport can be a little bit more uh, frustrating sometimes. That is what I'm sensing already. <laughs> Someone is honing me, I don't know. Hello, excuse me? I don't think he speak English, he don't speak English, so. I think someone is owning me. I think there is a guy coming from this direction. I run into a local here and he just directed me now. He said I should go to this way. And uh, I walk down up where the, the car is. I have to go right and after left. Uh, for like 200 to 300 meters, I go right again, then I will, I will see the bus stop. So there I can be able to catch the bus that will take me to my destination. So it is kind of a little bit like a frustrating moment because, uh, as I've said earlier on, I am learning with the Lithuania because uh, I make mistake with my plans. My plans, oh, it's a very beautiful church here. Wow, it's very beautiful with bricks. So I think I should get even photo for myself. So it's beautiful, so I got photos for myself. Like it. Beautiful. So, as I was saying, I'm learning with uh, Lithuania, my errors of this trip, because I make a lot of errors in this trip. So it cost me a lot, so I'm not really impressed with my, my videos here because I don't really have a lot of time, so everything is like in Ori. So I make mistake, it is my fault. So next time I have to learn from it. I have learned from it, so next time it will be much better. My plans will be much better. Romania, Bulgaria was okay. The timing, it was perfect. The days I give to it was perfect. The reason of these errors is because I was thinking it is a small country, so I don't need to spend so much days here, uh, so much time here. So that is my hero. But I lied to myself. So next time it's going to be cool.
Lithuania, you will see me. I will be back. Like a old building over there, old abandoned building. And also, yeah, surely there is a very great place I supposed to go, but I don't think I can be able to make it because of uh, because of time. It's a place full of cross. So maybe next time, I don't know. Let me go to my hostel first. I don't know if I can be able to make it because I have to go to my hostel and uh, I will see if I can be able because it is about 20 minutes out of uh, uh, the city. It is 20 minutes out of Chile. It is a place with full of cross. I say it's a very touristic place. This is a small park here. Nice. Cool place to hang out. No, it's like a cultural place, like a cultural center. Like a cultural center. Yeah. It is life of a traveler, guys. You need to make a lot of mistakes. I'm still young in the game, so I'm about to make a lot of mistakes. So, when I'm learning faster. to be able to give you guys full package, the best I can possible give every single moment. Because this has cost me even my, my trip to Klepade, which is a seaside. We always think to share with you uh, the seaside of Lithuania, but maybe it will be some other time. Hello, how are you? Good. This is the bus station? What? The bus, bus station. I don't know. You don't know? I, you're not from this city? Okay, because I'm looking for the bus station. Okay, thank you. So... I think it's a little bit difficult also to find some, someone who speaks English. It's normal. It's not that the biggest... Uh, like the big cities. But Lithuanians almost all speak English. So if you are around here, I believe like eight to seven people, eight out of 10 speak English. You can understand, you can, they can be able to communicate with you. Hello. Hello. The big cities is more frequently, you can easily find someone, but in the smaller cities, it will be difficult. But they will always say hello, this is a good thing. This is the bus station. From the bus station. So we're going to go for about, let me say, almost about 20 minutes again from here. The main street, we are just passing the main street. Oh, I need to go 
back. Sorry. So. Nice place with good view. I, I think with a good view, it is nice. Beautiful. Oh. It is a pity, it is a pity that I don't really have a lot of time. Beautiful church. I missed my stop and it's kind of taking me back to the stop. So, wow. Even though you don't really speak English, they try to figure it out with the body language and we, we get it done. So I missed the stop. I missed the stop of the bus and now we are going back. So. My time, my crazy journey in, in Lithuania. I didn't plan it very well, so it's kind of crazy. The journey is crazy, as you have seen in the videos. The driver is very kind, very kind man. I cannot be able to speak English, but he tried to help me. <laughs> we missed this stop, so he's taking me back there. Without even wasting time, very kind man and this is a very exceptional case i don't know how to say it because he cannot speak english but as soon as he see that i miss the stop of the bus he went to where he normally uh, and to the ending normally i think some buses they have to wait for some minutes before they go back but immediately he said no you have to take me back there very kind man very kind This is my first impression of surely, surely or something like that. It's very beautiful. There's some countryside. It's very beautiful. I can see from you cannot be able to see it uh, from the video, but there are some countryside. It seems like there are lake over this direction. Very beautiful over this direction. Very beautiful. Hostel is really out of the city center. Wow. I guess I would have stayed in the city center. Right? This time I'm out of the city, really, really out of the city center.
What is he doing? It seems like he's taking me directly to the stop. I try to try, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, he's here, okay. Thank you. Oh, what is he doing? Thank you. You know what? He just take me. I am sure. I am sure he don't need to come to this place. What this guy just did? I am sure he doesn't need to come to this place. This man drove me, forget about his, his lane, his normal transport lane, and drove me to my hostel. Because normally the hostel, when I check it on the internet, the bus is not coming to this place. I have to stop somewhere and walk down. So, let me see what this man have just done. Look, this man just bring me, this man just bring me to my stop. Normally with the bus, it wasn't here. Normally the bus doesn't come to this place. The man just bring me here. Whoa, what a kind man. Wow. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for the number three, sp spindle, number three. Three? Yeah, number three. What is it? Oh. Oh, no. Okay, this one? That okay. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, hostel. Hostel. Hostel, yeah. that was this. Okay. Thank you. Ooh, normally, you see, the bus, autobus, don't pass this place. No, no, no. No. French? Francis? Francis? Yeah. Oh! No! What is this? YouTube. YouTube? Ah, YouTube is a YouTuber. Yeah, hostel. What is this? Stand. Okay, yes, yeah. spin it, yes. Ooh, yes. And I, I think my journey is not a quite a good idea because I have to leave at four, four thirty. Wow. The driver drove me here, break like forget about his lane for of job and bring me here. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Hope you yeah. Hello. Okay. Thank you. Oh, this is the hostel. Wow. This is the hostel. So, guys, this is my first impression of uh, Sholi. So, this is my bed today. So this is how it is. From blog, blogger. Vlogger, YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> this is my room today. And uh, it's not easy. This is how it is. Uh, they speak only Russian here, yeah? more Russian. So, this is how it is. Uh, when you are in, uh, out of the real major cities, this is what you can get, have some roommates here, and this is how it goes here, man. This is my journey, this is my first impression right here in uh, Shole. So, I'm very tired. I just need somewhere to be able to put my head and take shower to move the next day. And I need to, get, I need to catch my bus at 3 a.m. in the morning, and there is no bus here, remember? 
the driver just drove me down here by himself. Wow, what a kind heart. So these are my roommates. They, they don't speak English, neither French. So uh, I'm right here with them, you know. This is how we do it in this, this hostel, this is how it is. So yeah, this is how we do it right here in Charlotte. So if you like it, give it thumbs up. I'm giving you guys raw adventure here. So to be able to shake in is also a tug of war because the receptionist, she doesn't speak English. So she has to call someone to be able to translate. So this is how it is. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and comment. Let me know what you think about this video. And uh, see you guys on the next one. Ciao. So I'm kind of shouting with my roommate. Um, in fact, this guy is from Moldavia. Yeah, he's from Mo Moldavia, Ukraine. And this other guy is from Uzbekistan, but he's, he's not here now. And I'm from Nigeria, so <laughs> every complete. So I'm kind of, I, I'll try to like uh, to communicate with them, but now we have language barrier. So how can you people speak? Uh, you, um, Russian. Russian, huh? Oh, okay. Russian. They're speaking Russian, so, and I don't speak Russian, and they don't speak uh, English. And also, uh, I think I try maybe maybe like French, but they don't speak French also. So, no, poco italiano, small. Italiano, pal italiano. Poco italiano. Io pal italiano. Se si stato in Italia? No, uh, drive to Italia, France, Germany, uh, small Germany, small Italia, small French. Okay, was uh, uh, it uh, uh, autista? Okay, it was like. Um, uh, okay. Uh, uh, um, big uh, cam uh, uh, big uh, lorry trailer. I uh, say he was a trailer. He was a trailer driver. So that is why he speak a little bit Italian. He was going around Germany. <laughs> ah, so they are all drive. Oh, okay. So it's like, uh, ah, oh, three. Ah, okay. Now you are like resting, yeah? Like rest after you drive again? Uh, we can. Um, 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 uh, pause, dopo. Grande pause, dopo. Uh, 20 days is. Come on, lavorare. Okay, okay. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.